In today's video we're going to change the capstan belt on our 244 transport. If you've already followed along with my previous videos then you've taken my advice and removed this from the chassis to make it easier to change the pinch roller and the idler tires. Now you could change the capstan belt with this still installed. Look at my video about removing the back panel and just imagine that this is still installed on the back of the 244. Same instructions apply. I'm using a Phillips head size one I believe. It's smaller than the one we used to take the screws out of the back of the 244. And it's this and this screw here that we want to remove. Now you can see there's little blue marks beside the screws. That's some kind of adhesive so that they don't unscrew too easily. That might give us problems. If they do, what I'm going to do is scrape at them. I'm just using some sharp tweezers to do that. Okay, as I feared, they're not coming out very easily. So I'm going to have to scrape at these a bit. There's a little lump of the blue crud that's come off. That should make it easier to, to unscrew these. Right, I had to go off screen there and uh, put on a little bit of silicon lubricant on both of these screws, leave it for a minute, scrape around the edges of the screws even more with the tweezers and I've eventually got these loose. I also found that that red one was, maybe that was a size zero, not a size one. I used the screwdriver instead and that seems to have done the trick. As always, I'm going to keep the screws separate. I know what these look like, but if you don't, use a permanent marker to mark your jam jar or ice cream tub or freezer bag whatever it is you're keeping these in so first thing i want to do is take this belt and i want to lift it underneath this plate past this piece of white plastic the name of which eludes me so i will call it the thrust ducat past the thrust ducat and into this space we have passed the thrust ducat at the moment the belt is outside of this bar but it's in contact with the flywheel there so I'm getting it around the pulley of the capstan motor and then I'll lift it again to get that side of the belt inside that space. If I turn that a few times it should rectify its position. You want it in the centre of the pulley obviously and hopefully you can see that it's a couple of millimetres below the edge. You want it positioned like that so that it doesn't come off the pulley when you reinstall all the transport. Then simply replace these screws and that's your capstan belt installed. What I showed you by only removing those two screws and getting the belt in that way is my recommended way to change this belt. But let's say that you, in your infinite wisdom, decided to remove the entire plate, which you would do by removing that screw as well. And then you did this. You are now in the danger zone. If this comes off and you put it on the wrong way, or if you move this around and you don't put that back in the right place, you may end up in a situation where play, so far as the logic on the 244 is concerned, relates to stop or rewind, and uh, basically you could bugger up your whole transport system. So if you have had this off and this has got all screwed around, I just want to show you what it should look like. This potentiometer is turned as far to the left counterclockwise as it possibly can be, then that little white arm should be pointed at that hole. We also want to have this gear, you see there's a ridge there, we want that sitting about 5pm. We then turn this so the little clip there goes over that black plastic barrier on the gear. Then you can reinstall it. Make sure that none of these solders broke. If any of them break, then your transport isn't going to work. But really that's just a caveat. If you leave that the hell alone, which is what I recommend, and just remove those two screws in order to install this belt, you shouldn't have any problem. 